coconuts and i am going to be reviewing today the book called tulip of istanbul written by skandal pala uh, which was originally written in turkish and later translated into english so uh, um, this is a romantic murder mystery with a historical backdrop which revolves around the discovery and cultivation of a rare bulb uh, of tulip that is found in istanbul so it's a story of a great passion and longing because uh, istanbul and love are the two words which are almost inseparable so tulip of istanbul depicts the ottoman empire it shows the most glorious times in terms of art aesthetic elegance beauty and dreams so at the same time it was an era of economic and social collapse so known as the tulip age this period in 1730 saw a great public revolt that changed the course of turkey's destiny so the novel begins with the story of a young man called falco who finds his beautiful wife murdered on the wedding night so what is most sad is that the innocent falco himself is charged with the murder of his wife and thrown into the prison So to prove his innocence and to find the murderer of his lover, his only clue was the tulip, which was found in the palm of his dead wife. An interesting turn on the tulips too. So the falcon, along his friend Ye Ye, ah uh, yeah, it's a different name. So uh, tries to find clues about the murder of the, uh, his wife, and uh, which takes them to a, a legendary gardener who, who was called Selebi. So who uh, this person is known for his uh, knowledge of tulips. so he tells them that the bulb uh, that falco has got ha- is a rare kind of tulip and many people would be willing to pay a lot of money for that so since it's only a half of a bulb so another half according to celebi the gardener would produce an identical uh, tulip so falco and ye ye decides to let celebi grow the uh, bulb uh, so that uh, when it blooms it may uh, give them the idea or Uh, about the murder or some of their questions might be answered so the story is interweaved with the historical and cultural detail introducing the reader to the life within the royal palaces uh, the lodges the horticultural secrets and about uh, growing exclusive tulips innovative treatments for uh, patients in asylum and uh, torturing devices that were used in the prison and um, Uh, the conspiracy theories of that time, and uh, also a uh, uh, immense stories about around revolutionaries and gangsters. So all these Ottoman era's atmosphere added the story to its magic, and which was uh, enjoyed by me the most. So apart from the story, the book has some beautiful collection of quotes. So I would uh, read it out for you some of them, some of my favorites here. So yeah, this one. With a glass and a rose, you made your debut. Should I take the rose, the glass, or you? Listen to the neigh and the tale it tells of separations and tragic farewells. Since the day when I was plucked from the reeds, my cries have touched everyone who hears. This separation broke my heart. Will now forever pain impart. My failings are many. I am a mere dervish, a slave to your every wish. So yeah, these are these are only a part of uh, the uh, quotes that I could uh, read. I have marked over here. But uh, like I said, this book contains a lot of beautiful quotes that can be added to your collection. So my read was again not as free free flow as a natively written book would be because uh, the translator seemingly has chosen the. complex sides of the words but i still enjoyed the book which only proves that the how great must be the original form of this book skandar pala is one of the most uh, eminent and well respected turkish writers today and going by what a page turner this book was so one can ho- only hope that more and more of his books gets published in english the book is a great addition when you are trying to include more cultural pics in your current read Uh, like i said the book deeply connects uh, the history and mystery into the culture of istanbul and also it's a love story and valentine season is around so why not give this one a chance so that's all guys thank you for watching and please follow book nerds on all the social media platforms for more book related contents oh, oh, oh.